Als die gasten hebben, niet geluid. Je kan hem hier een beetje. Dus uh, hij met Rolf de Stegen, het speech op de Stegen met Thomas en Rolf met haar uh, Petrol uh, Barra project. Zo so, uh, few videos back, uh, I already showed this project. So they did uh, this weekend the first startup from the for the engine and they're just dialing in now the uh, idling and that sort of stuff. So it's uh, running pretty good. So it's a Barra engine. I will in a few minutes I will uh, let them tell you a little bit of the more the details about the engine. And uh, yeah, here in Europe it's pretty rare to have a Barra engine in a petrol because it's not an, a European uh, delivered engine. So pretty cool to see it. Uh, project goals are around a thousand horsepower of this thing. So uh, I will show more uh, about this car later in uh, later in the project when it's driving and that sort of stuff. So uh, sound is pretty cool. So Thomas will uh, tell a little bit about the engine. He knows more about it than me. So uh, I hope English is not a problem. Yeah, it's not a problem. Well, this is then uh, the Ford Barra motor. Uh, we imported uh, six of these uh, about two years ago in May. So it's been two years ago and now it finally runs. Um, so of course I want to say this is in Europe. Eh? So in the United States and Australia this is more common yeah. than here of course. There are a couple in the Netherlands but not running that I know of. So yeah, we're one of the few. It's a built motor with uh, yeah, with the CP pistons, connecting rods. Uh, so it's, it's, a four, it's a four liter, eh? A four liter with the main bearing brace and uh, rust damper, all the fancy bits because we want to rev it out a little bit. 
because they are good to maybe 8,000 RPM, but that's what we'll see on the, on the dyno. Eh? We also uh, measure the exhaust gas pressure and uh, we'll see where that goes. And turbo sizes? Yeah, it's a G42-1450 uh, from, from Pulsar. It's not like a Hill Garrett, but it's uh, the Pulsar unit. Yeah. And uh, quite fancy uh, waste gear. I think the same you have. Yeah, with yeah, the, same, with yeah. the piston yeah. in it instead of the membrane. Yeah. So yeah, and it's going to have uh, water to air intercooler because we're also going to do a little bit off-roading with this, of course. Yeah, otherwise you shouldn't buy uh, a Nissan Patrol. Yeah. Yeah. It's a nice sleeper. Yeah, yeah, and uh, for now it's, it's like, yeah, mechanically it's okay, it runs. Eh? It's temporary, there's the fuel lines and the fuel pressure regulator, and uh, now the intercooler is not hooked up yet, so we have some finishing up to do. Yeah, the intercooler piping will yeah. run in, uh, yeah, near the firewall, and yeah, it will be on top of the intake manifold, and then uh, yeah, should be all right. Eh? We still have some mechanical stuff to do also, eh? like. Uh, the exhaust is finished until uh, under the front seats. Yeah, but it sounds already pretty cool. Yeah, pretty hefty. It needs to be straight piped. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, you know, it's a lot of finishing up to do. And in July, uh, medium July, mediocre, or somewhere in July, yeah. I think the second weekend, we uh, want to do some, uh, some drag racing with this in uh, Drachten. Okay. On the prep track. Yeah, we, we have the rims and tires. So that's there. in uh, three months or something? No. Oh, June. Yes. June, by the way. June, it's, that's uh, like three one and a half months. So. Yeah, uh, three weeks. That will be nice. Uh, yeah. So if, I'm, uh, if I can film it, I will do that then. Yeah, yeah of so. course. Okay, we will show you more about this in the future then, because I think it's pretty cool. Yeah, So uh, should be all right. So when, we, uh, when we hit the dyno, we will give you a call. You can come to Yeah, I, I will the be there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That will be pretty fun. Yeah. So, we will see. <laughs>